Hello, you're welcome. My name is Haruna Umar Aduga from HarTechSoft.com. In this video, we're going to be looking at the configuration of extended IP access control list. To do that, we have a list we're going to walk through together. The first item on the list is what extended IP access control lists are. Extended access control list permits or deny traffic using both source and destination parameters like source and destination IP addresses, source and destination port numbers, source and destination protocol types. That's unlike the standard IP access control list where traffic is being denied or permitted using only the source IP address. This is different. It considers both the source and destination IP addresses, port numbers, or protocol types. The next item on the list we have is our access list network and HTTP access test. The network we're going to use has been designed using the Cisco simulation packet tracer software. So what we're going to do here first is to test for connectivity to see if the client PC connected to router B can access the web server that is connected to router A here, which is on a different network, 192.168.20.0. To do that, all we need to do is go to the desktop of this client PC where we have the web browser and use the HTTP protocol, HTTP. Then specify the IP address of the web server we want to access 192.168.20.2. If you hit enter, you will see that we have access to the web server. This is actually a web page saying welcome to our of solutions and a little information about our of solutions. So from this, it means we have access this client on the network 192.168.30.0 can actually access the web page on this server that it's with the IP address of 192.168.20.2. The next thing we have on our list is creating and assigning extended IP access list. To do that, we are going to router B, that's the command line interface of router B. That's where we're going to configure our extended IP access control list. So the command line here for router B enable to go to global sorry configure terminal to go to global configuration mode so create our access list access list the range for access list extended that's extended ip access list is from 100 to 199 so the number we're going to use here is let's say 120 access list 120 on at uh, each step of the way you can use the question mark to see the options you have so we have access list 120 what we need to do is deny access access this 120 deny then the protocol type we want tcp is the protocol transmission control protocol that's the source protocol tcp deny tcp the option we have here also is host, deny PC, deny TCP host. Then you specify the IP address of the source, the host you're trying to deny access. So the host IP address is 192.168.30.2. That's the client PC. So we'll say access list 120, deny TCP host. 192.168.30.2 so this is the source this is the source address the source parameters deny tcp host 192.168.30.2 
now the destination the destination we're trying to deny access to that's the web server is 192.168.20.0 so we'll say to host 192.168 let me adjust this so you can see 192.168.20.0 20.2 that's the IP address of the web server that is connected to router A host 192.168.20.2 then the protocol we're going to be use is that's a HTTP we can specify the port number HTTP uses port 80 so that's for the port that is equivalent to 80. 80 here means HTTP. So it's going to deny access to host 192.168.30.2. That's from this host getting to host 192.168.20.2. On port 80, that's the HTTP. You can say www or you can say 80, still the same thing. So when you do that, you hit enter. It means we have created access list 120 that is going to deny this host using TCP protocol. Is going to deny access to the web server with the IP address of 192.168.20.2. What we need to do now is permit any other traffic on the network. We we'll see access list 120. Permit. We we'll see permit IP. That's any other IP traffic from any source to any destination. Access list 120 permit IP any any from any source to any destination. If we don't do this, there is an implicit deny statement that will deny any other traffic from accessing the web server. So we have to enter this command access list 120 permit. We are saying it should permit the router should permit any IP traffic that is coming from any destination to any that's from any source to any destination we're done creating our access list that's the extended ip access list 120 we can check that using the show command show access list that's show access list command you can see that we have extended ip access list 120 and this these are the statements under extended IP access list 120. Permit IP any any deny TCP host this IP address to this destination. You can see we we used 80. That's port 80. Port number 80. But what we have here is www. That the server the router automatically changes that to www extended IP access list 120 we did not specify if it's extended or standard when we were creating the access list but based on the number we used that's 120 the router knows it's extended that's why we have extended IP access list 120 so when we're done the next thing to do here is to assign the access list on this interface that's serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on router b we created the access list on this router we're going to assign it outbound on serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 so we get to global config mode configure terminal then interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 access IP access group 120 that's the access control list we just created IP access group 120 out 
hit enter the access list 120 has been assigned to interface serial 0 slash 0 slash 0 on router B so now that we have that configured the next item we have on the list is checking for HTTP that's web access to web server so we go back to our client PC go to the web browser on the desktop then you specify the IP address HTTP using this protocol HTTP 192.168.20.2 that's the IP address of the web server on 192.168.20.2 then you go you hit enter press go still same thing you can see that it tried connecting to the web server on 192.168.20.2 and the result we have here is request timeout there is no access it cannot connect to the web server because it has been denied access to the web server so the next item we have on the list is removing the created extended IP access control list so after enabling the access control list on this interface as a network administrator if you feel you want to allow the client's PC access you want to remove the extended IP access control list that you assigned to the serial interface all you need to do is you go back configure terminal that's you go back to global configuration mode so this time around the command you're going to enter remember we entered deny TCP host let's go back up access list 120 deny that's this particular command we can copy that access list 120 deny paste you see access list 120 deny TCP host 192.168.30.2 to the destination that's host 192.168.20.2 at that port 80 for www which is uh, http to remove this access list all you need to do is use the no keyword that's no let's go back up you say no no access list 120 this command is going to remove access list 120 on the router if you hit enter you can check your router to see if you have any access control list show access lists if you hit enter you, you can see that there is no access list no more access list on the router and the client should be able to access the web page on the web server now since the IP extended access control list has been removed 192.168.192.168.20.2 hit enter you can see that now the client server the client PC can access the web page on the server with the IP address of 192.168.20.2 so to get the documentation for this video you can go to hacktechsoft.com www.hacktechsoft.com you can download the video there and you can also read the documentation for this particular video i would like to thank you for viewing to have a nice day